our sports team is not here. They're up They're north. in Connecticut. Yes. They are freezing this morning, <laughs> but I'm sure they're excited. Tonight's big game, number one against number two, yes. USC versus UConn at 8 o'clock tonight. So right now we're going to check in with the guys. Uh, guys, you have a very uh, a special interview this morning. Welcome into a very snowy stores, Connecticut, but we're nice and warm indoors here at the Nathan Hale Inn. Derek Phillips and joined by Corey Miller and Athletics Director at South Carolina, Ray Tanner. Ray, thanks so much for joining us this morning. I know it's a little early for you to roll out of bed, but we appreciate the time. Well, it's not all that early for me to roll out, but we're <laughs> glad that you guys are here. Absolutely. Uh, let's get right into it. You know, obviously, you know, South Carolina uh, with, has had a target on their backs, becoming the number one team in the country. And you know all about being a top ranked team in the country after winning the national championship in 2010. Coach Staley and her team, it seemed like, you know, they've been able to handle that pressure of being the top ranked team with that target on their back. Can you just talk about from experience, you know, what that's like and, and just getting your opponent's best shot every, every week? Well, first, I think you do have to give Coach Staley and her staff a tremendous amount of credit for being able to handle being number one for a number of weeks now. It's not an easy pressure to, to undergo, but they've had fun. They've continued to win. They've got a lot of depth. Things are good, and you've got to give them credit for that because it's not easy. But she will tell you that it's better to be the hunted than the hunter. There's a lot of hunters out there, but there's very few with the, the marks on their back. So our team has done a wonderful job, and it's great to be in this position tonight to play what is the best matchup this this year in women's basketball coach talk about the process i actually talked to coach staley about this so they're building a team from scratch and that's some of what she she's done and it's amazing to see what she's done and you know better than anybody like the national championships you've been in the spotlight and as derek said they've been able to maintain that just talk about what she's done over the seven year period i mean it's pretty amazing it, it is amazing and you know i had a chance many years ago to watch Coach Daly play at the University of Virginia. Then I watched her play in the WNBA. I was a part of a couple of Olympics that she was a gold medal winner in and then a flag bearer. She had three gold medals. She has walked the walk and that's a little bit different. And she had to take a program here at our university to build it. But she made a comment three years ago that has resonated with me. She said that we have a blueprint for success. We will not waver and we will eventually be the number one team in the country. And it has come to pass. And, you know, many coaches won't talk about winning a national championship. She will talk about it. And when she tells you something, you better believe it. You're right about that. And, you know, it's funny. We're sitting here in the middle of conference play, and this matchup is on the schedule, one versus two, almost potentially a preview of a national championship game. I mean, you're talking about the two best teams in the country facing off each with each other, and the national championship is still two months away. Your thoughts on this matchup, obviously UConn, storied program, all the national titles under Coach Gino Oriema. What are your thoughts for USC going into this ball game? Obviously, they've got to be very prepared with playing in the SEC. Well, I read, I read a quote this morning in the USA Today that Coach Staley made, and this game's not going to define us, and I certainly agree with that comment. This is a fun game. This is a, a chance to play the one versus the two. And, you know, maybe it happens again later on, but tonight is just a fun game. And, you know, it's important. It's a big deal. It's national television. But I, I think that both of these coaches would like to have this same game at another point later in the year. Coach, let's talk about uh, the men's team. And, of course, when you again, I'm sticking with the process of building. I talked to Frank Martin the other day. I mean, he's doing a great job. This team is better. And it takes time to build a program. It, it really does. And, you know, it doesn't happen overnight, but he's done a wonderful job. We're very, very competitive. And I think that our fans appreciate the progress that's been made in our men's program. Without. Well, Coach, uh, if this were baseball season, probably wouldn't have opening day today in Columbia. There would be a delay. That's sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate, appreciate your time. Uh, we'll be right back after this break. Stay with us. You're watching Good Day Columbia on Watch Fox.